We're going to carry out an earth electrode test now. It's only a mock-up, so I'm using a bit of copper pipe for our, our earth electrode, but the test really consists of an electrode under test, a potential electrode, and a current electrode down the bottom <coughs> further away. What I need to do is drive the electrode that's under test into the ground and I need to measure how far it goes in. The one that I've put into the ground is actually two metres deep. The current electrode, which is the furthest one away, needs to be at least ten times the depth of that electrode away and the potential electrode needs to be placed in between the two. I then need to connect the ends of the leads into an earth electrode test instrument and take a, a recording of the resistance value. This is a, a three lead test, so I just need to give the machine a second or two to settle, push the test button, and you'll see that it's reading the potential electrode and the current electrode. And we've got a resistance value there of 80.8 ohms. I've now moved the potential electrode closer to the electrode under test. It needs to be 10% of the total distance between the electrode under test and the current electrode. So as that was two meters deep, I've now, and the distance apart was 20 meters, I've moved the electrode two meters nearer to the electrode under test. Now I'm going to take another reading. Eighty point zero six. The first one was eighty point zero eight. Now I need to move the potential electrode two meters nearer from the center to the current electrode. I've now moved the potential electrode two meters from center nearer to the current electrode, and I need to take a third test. I've got a value of 80.7. What I need to do now is add all three values together, divide them by three to find the average, and that would be the value I wrote down. If I'm working on an installation that requires a much lower resistance value, earth resistance value, all I need to do is insert another earth rod. And the rules are that I would need to insert the earth rod the distance away from the original earth rod whichever the depth of the original earth rod was. So we knew that this one's a two metre deep rod, I need to move two metres away and insert another one. I've already carried out that process, just want to take a resistance value to see what difference it makes. We can see now that we've got a resistance value of 51.5. It's dramatically reduced the resistance value, so two earth electrodes would be better than one in this instance. <laughs> and to get a very accurate reading, of course, what I would need to do now is repeat the three tests by moving the, the um, potential electrode 10% this way, 10% the other way, and taking an average of the three readings. And that would give me the reading I would write down on my test certificate.